Chris Labar back live at Fifth Third Arena, UC Falls today, 80 to 60 to UCF. And uh, Jamil Candley, not a lot of good things happened today. What was your message after the game? Well, our message after the game was one, you know, the tone that we set at the game, you know, their best player, Lewis, got off early, you know, and I talked to you before. We talked about her not getting off early. She was able to give her team some confidence. We wasn't knocking down shots, but we wasn't getting stops, you know, and that was the case throughout the game, giving up 80 points. I don't think we give, we've given up 80 points since we played the number one team in the country. So um, when our shots aren't falling, we got to find a way to sit down and guard. You know, I tried to change up defenses from man to zone to try to figure out what was going to stick. You know, today was just one of those days where defensively we just didn't have the answer. And credit to UCF. You know, a team that's desperate, you know, on a losing streak. They came in here and, um, you know, they played to win. And uh, we didn't take away their, their strengths early. They got the confidence, and uh, Joy got her win. They were the aggressor, plus 15 on the backboard. Was that a huge component in this game? You know, that was the key to the game. You know, we know that they – the third best team, top 10 team in the country in offensive rebounds. So obviously we know that. Um, that's something that we were uh, prepared to do. But at the end of the day, you know, we didn't get the offense, uh, the defensive rebounds that we needed to get. Again, I get, think we gave them confidence. Defensively, giving up 80 points. Um, we know that every, you know, we don't shoot the ball, you know, in the 40s, 50s. That's our percentage says that. But we've given ourselves a chance to win in every single game that we played on our defensive end of the floor. And today, for the first time in a long time, our defense didn't um, hold for us as consistently throughout the game. So. Back to the drawing board. Uh, we got a day off tomorrow, Sunday. Uh, we practice Monday, Tuesday. Back on the road where we play extremely well. I'm expecting us to play extremely well at, on the road. But when we come back here to Fifth Third Arena, in front of our home fans, in front of our crowd, in front of our family, we just got to show a different brand of basketball, especially to start the game um, from an energy perspective, especially at home. We let one get away from us today. We still have six games at home. I'm going to be convinced, and I'm going to make sure we're ready to play at home the next time we come to Fifth Third. On the positive side, Shelby Chandler showed some flashes. Can we expect more of that offensively from her? You know, Shelby's a starter. You know, Shelby is uh, probably our best low post presence. You know, she she's, takes up a lot of space inside. She's a senior. You know, she's been there before. She has experience. I thought she gave us some good touches down low today um, because when we keep her high, that gives her man a chance to help on our back cuts and the things that we look to get below um, – the free throw line. So today she was able to give us some points inside. Um, I think we still had guys in, in double figure scoring, which is a goal for us. We achieved it. But again, on that other side of the ball defensively, you know, they had multiple guys that could score and we just wasn't able to stop them consistently today. But we're going to work on fixing that and be ready to go to the next game. That's the key with the ECU, a team right at 500, just like you guys are. The key with ECU, similar to UCF, they're long, they're athletic. Um, their wings are nice and wide, so we have to do a good job of penetrating, kicking, getting interior, um, and making sure we get open because they're really active in the passing lanes, um, looking to get some uh, traps and steals on the wing. So we have to get open, utilize our offense, which is to get back door cuts, handoffs, collapse the defense, penetrate and kick, knock down our shots. But the main concern is we have to find a way to guard ECU. You know, I'm looking forward to really, really taking that jump defensively. Uh, today wasn't our best day defensively. Hey, we got another game on Wednesday, another chance to improve, and I'm looking forward to doing so. Thank you for the time. Appreciate it. All right, thanks. Comments from Jamel Elliott. Cincinnati Falls today. The UCF back in action Wednesday in Greenville versus ECU. We'll have it here starting at 645 on Bearcats TV. For Coach, I'm Chris. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.